All right, everybody, what's up? Welcome to the very first episode of Learning Monarch Songs. Today's episode, I'll be teaching you some of my favorite riffs from the song Band-Aid. Band-Aid was written in 2019, and the interesting thing about Band-Aid is it's one of the first collaborative songs that we wrote as a whole band in the room. There's a few other ones that we did, but this is the most recent one. Um, that has been released. Just getting started, here's how the intro goes, and I'll actually dial this down step by step so that you guys can learn the song for yourselves. So here's how the intro goes. <laughs> Of course, you know, Ben has his drum fill and uh, the words start. So the, the original rendition of the song actually did not include that specific walk down that we used to get back into the section. Originally, uh, it was literally. All right, so let's take that first opening riff step by step. So we're going to start on the second fret, the F sharp on the low E. And you're just going to go second. And we're actually going to go up to the 4th and the 5th fret. All on the E string. 2nd, 4th, 5th. So here's how it goes, slowly. And then we go to the 2nd part of it. We go up to the B on the A string, 2nd fret. 2nd fret and the 4th fret, so it's... So here's up until that point, slowly. The ending, so we're going to do a 4th fret, slide up to the 7th fret, go back down to the 2nd fret, so it sounds like this. That slide can be kind of tough. This is what we've covered so far. So after we get the slide, we're actually going to work on that last little lick to get you to the descending section to the end of the phrase. So we're going to start on the second fret of the A string. that B. Now here's the tough part. You're going to do 5th fret, E string, 4th fret, A string, 2nd fret, A string, 5th fret, E string, 4th fret, E string, and then 2nd fret, E string. So all together that last section slowly sounds like this. The whole phrase all together. Cool. So that's the very first, uh, like, six seconds of the song. Now, the part where the band comes in. And uh, so the whole band, uh, Ben starts doing his jungle drum tom theme, and uh, Devin and uh, Luke come in. So that basically, I just switched to power chords. So instead of it for just being a second fret, I'm actually adding the fifth of the chord. So for example, an F sharp, put your fourth, uh, fourth fret A string on top of it. And 
English is the same way. So if you can learn the first part, you can definitely learn the second part. It's the same shape the whole time. Just take this shape and transpose it so that your first finger stays on the melody of where the previous frets were. First finger on the second fret of the E string, and then either your third or fourth finger. You can pick whichever one you want. Sometimes I use my pinky. I usually use my pinky. Sometimes I use my ring. Devin definitely uses his ring finger, which I think is crazy because I don't know. He taught himself how to play, so he has some funny quirks that he totally has made work, and he honestly does some things better than I do. By not having formal training, he's actually found routes around certain issues, so that's kind of interesting. So anyways, first finger on the second fret of the low E string for an F sharp, and then your third or fourth finger, ring or pinky, is going to go on the fourth fret of the A string to play that C sharp. Do whatever makes you most comfortable. There's no wrong ways to do this. Honestly, if you're just learning how to play the guitar, it's best to do things in a way that you feel comfortable and it makes the best sound.